and today we are making the tassels for the key lane shawl. It's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. In the previous video we made the actual shawl which was based on my design of the Woodbury Castle shawl. Today I am going to show you how to make the tassels to finish off the shawl nicely. I just felt like tassels and that's what I'm putting on there. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you Put your tassels on your shawl as well. Of course, it's not a requirement. If you don't like them, you don't have to put them on. Now, I am making these in StarCraft Special DK. I'm using Storm Blue and I have used three balls for my shawl. So this is my fourth ball because I don't think I have enough left in my third ball for my shawl. So I started a new ball for this. I'm also using a crochet hook, my normal scissors for crochet, but then I'm also using my uh, fabric scissors because that makes it easier to cut through all those strands in one go. And then here I have something and it's something that I've had in my sort of craft stash things to be used later on, you know, at some point. Um, it's really heavy, it's metal and it has you know two sticks sticking out like this i got it uh, as a present at one point and it had a candle attached to it as a flower and i thought oh wouldn't it be lovely if i could sort of maybe crochet a flower for it and then put that on there and then have that as display something like that so today i am going to use this for winding my yarn around it because i think that makes sense it's very heavy as you can hear but also you could use, for example, <laughs> some chocolate and wind your yarn around that. I have in the past used a book or even my iPad to wind the yarn around. Anything um, to wind it around that you think is going to be sort of the, you know, the length of your tassel. And I think that was quite a nice length uh, that I wanted to achieve there. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to take the yarn and whatever you are winding it round, you're just going to have to get started. So try to hold on with your thumb or with your finger to one end of the yarn and just start winding. Now you can count your revolutions. So you do the same once for every tassel that you're making. Now I have to be careful here because this is sharp, so... <laughs> Oh, don't do don't use anything like this use your box of chocolate <laughs> oh my goodness um so yes yeah, so i'm going to just go for it basically i didn't count the previous ones i know my tassels weigh about 10 grams so i will weigh it towards the end and we'll see how much it weighs okay i'm going to do this off camera where i can concentrate so i don't get scratched by this okay so that's enough winding round. So I'm just going to cut off my yarn and just sort of secure it a little bit, just hoping it will just stay in place there. Then I'm going to cut off a length, just about an you know outstretched arm, about a meter, then fold it double like this. And then you are going to tie that around the top of your tassel here. So I'm going to bring it through and I'm going to make a knot, there we are, but I'm going to pull my 
thread through twice like so so you have sort of a double knot that you're making make sure it's nicely in position tie it really well until it doesn't go anymore and then this knot stays really well into position it doesn't come undone so easily like a normal knot does you do have to sort of keep it tensioned a little bit and so i went round again and now you can't see what i'm doing so i'll do it again in a moment but i've got it now <laughs> so i've done that same double knot again and then you tie it even tighter let me do it again there we go so like this and then I sort of go round twice and then I pull it really gently so it doesn't knot up into itself. There we go, see? And there we are again. Okay, so then I keep going round with my two ends here. Just making this band of yarn wider. make a noise this thing doesn't it and when you have about the, the length of your tassel left I'm going to make another knot one of those double ones again there we go so that's done really well and now I'm going to use my hook to get under the strands here, come up here and try and pull back the yarn so it disappears sort of into the tassel. There we go. Is this the one? Yeah, look there. See? So it's down. So it's lying down. So let me do the same one with this one. In around my hook and just hope for the best really <laughs> there we go it's coming out which one is it that i have to pull there we go okay so these will just be incorporated in the tassel in a moment now i'm going to take my hook again there we go and i'm going to insert it here on the top of my tassel take another piece of yarn fold it double about 50 centimeters or 60 centimeters fold it double and then once again i'm going to bring that through so hook it under the hook of your hook <laughs> and bring it through careful yeah there we go okay <laughs> So this now is ready for, you know, sort of making that sphere at the top of your tassel, but also to attach, of course, your tassel. And then now we're going to go to the other side here and we're going to cut through this yarn here. Big scissors, big moment. I enjoy doing this. So along the edge... Holding on to everything here. Oh, yeah. See, this is why I'm using the... <clears throat> Sorry. This is why I'm using the big scissors. <laughs> so, yes, that was a big loud noise when my um, thing fell off. But I still have my tassel in place. I've saved it. It's fine. <laughs> So let's take this part out and we can tie the top of our tassel here. So once again, I'm going to do that double knot. So fold it round and round again. I'm sure there's a name for this knot. Some of you scouts will know the name. There we go. And I'm going to make sure it stays on top of my little sphere here that I'm trying to create. There we go. See? And if you tie it really nicely, yeah, it does come undone, but not as much. So once again, a little bit of tension. 
doing that same knot again. There we go, gently. There we are. Look at that. And we've got our tassel. So all we need to do now is look at the other end because of the and we are going to oh, I love this. I love doing this. <laughs> Once again, using the big scissors, making a mess. There we go. What do we think? Is that looking skewy or is that okay? Well, all the big ends are off, so that's more than enough for me. There we go. That's fine. I don't mind. There we go. So I've now got three tassels and I'm going to attach them to my shawl. <laughs> Okay, so to attach the tassel, I have here the tip. I am just going to um, make it easier on myself and put it on a needle here. One of those strands that are coming from my tassel, put it through. And once again, I am just going to do that double knot that we've been doing. So go through and go through again and then pull gently. And as you could see, I still had my end to be sewn in because I sort of tend to maybe just leave that just in case. I don't know why, um, but now I'm just going to sew it all in. So now I've sort of attached this sort of by a double knot. I'm going to do one more. There we go. And another one maybe just there we are. Now I'm going to weave in all these ends basically. So I've got three here and this one here. I just need to cut open and I'm just going to put them on the needle and weave them in. And that way, um, you know, sort of all the ends are just in the shawl like that. They're gone and you can't tell, but you've secured your tassel. Now, I have to admit, I have got another shawl with tassels um, and you just have to use it. You have to just you know, live with it. And then if you do see it coming off or it falls off or whatever, make a new one. OK, so I'm going to keep this separate uh, just in case if I lose my tassel, I'll just or it comes apart or something like that. You know, things do happen to tassels. <laughs> um, I think one of mine from the other shawl just sort of was hanging on by a thread <laughs> and I just sort of secured it again and it was fine. Um haven't worn that shawl for a while, mind you. I'll have to get it out. <laughs> but yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's lovely. It's I love tassels and it's a lovely decoration. These ones especially. Um, but yeah, you sort of have to, you know, not you can't be careful for it almost. You know, you just have to use it and abuse it basically and hope for the best. And then if it does get damaged, you just have to repair it. So that's how I'm going to um, attach my tassels on the top as well. So just finding on the outer edge, finding um, a stitch to go round, go through, tie it round and then just sew in all your ends that you've got. Um, and that's also partly why I just kept longer ends on those tassels and I made sure there were so I can just attach it into the shawl and it just sort of disappears and... It's attached really securely. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.